Am I supposed to take this? Oh, there it goes. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Here we go. Okay, we're here, we're here, we're here. Oh, he died. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to do it, like, over and over again to get stuff, you know? Okay, there we go. Okay, so... Oh, I can go do this! Okay. Okay, so once we start talking to people, we can opt to tell Sentius that we think it's that person. But... Okay, so give the Sylphium resin to Lucretia before Yulia dies. I've restarted the day. Okay. Let's do it. Bye. No. Uh, salve. Yeah, friend. I think I still have the medicine. I'm hilarious. Mind telling me who I made you it are out. and what you were doing in the shrine of Proserpina? Proserpina? You speaking English? Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, <laughs> although your accent's a little strange. Oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try. But I'll ask again, who are you and what were you doing in the shrine? I'm just uh, going to go with this one. I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. Oh. Bacchus, how much did I drink last night? This seems like a pretty uh, quick way to get out of this conversation, you. so. Of course. What oh. did you want to know? Oh. Well, it's a long one and kind of sad. <sighs> they all have long stories. I don't mind telling it. Okay, Glarius, this is for you. I'm a farmer. Always have been. I grew up in a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum with my parents and two little sisters. Lovely part of the world. One day, when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up, but by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground, and our cart was empty. Mm. That was my first encounter with the legions. My mother died of a broken heart soon after. No. And things went downhill from there. Oh, he does have a sad Two story. That, that I was young. And it was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing. Our stores pillaged. These legion thugs just took whatever they wanted. One night, when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. I knew who they were and what they wanted. <gasps> no. I got my old legs, pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. Oh. But there were more of them. I never saw how many, because the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. And they left me alive to see what they'd done. Still burns whenever I think about it. Big yikes. I'm sorry, my dude. Yeah, well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. It wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in a rebellion against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. So... Oh. Then I found myself being transported all the way to Rome to be sold to the highest bidder. I spent a few years working for my new master, learning the Romans' ways, Romanized my name. Has lived a life. I tried to escape a couple of times, but they always found me, and I'd just end up right back where I was. I'd probably still be there, too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. You see, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Everybody was running down toward the river, screaming and shouting. I've Never heard this. Human beings acting like 
cattle. I got swept up with them somehow, mm. and the rest is a blur. Okay, the so... The thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. Stumbled across this place and started my life over again. That stranger, hmm. That's what I thought too, for a while. But it seems no. the gods aren't done tormenting me. You have a terrible life See, here too? I finally had my own farm again, safe from the grasping hands of the Romans. Or so I thought. Did they send the goose? And just the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits for himself, of course. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not what? sure I believe him, but then what if he's right? So yeah, I think our dear old magistrate is no better than the legion. I think Sentius is um I'm right back where I began. Kind of using the golden rule to worry. just do whatever he wants. Nemesis is waiting. And he'll get his one day. Nemesis? Get his. Uh forget I said that last part, will you? I get carried away. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. yeah. You're fine. I don't think you're gonna do anything. Thanks, friend. I knew I liked you. Anyway, that's We're besties. enough of me rambling. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Uh, what do you think about the election? Uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much, but Maliolus is almost as bad. Yes, Even I, I could agree. Do a better job. Me, a farmer, and I've never given a speech or put on a toga in my Maybe life. Maybe this is the true thing we need to do. We need to get Galerius to run. Oh, I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, everybody here has got their own view about what we need to do to survive. But I say, let's spend less time arguing about what it means to be good and just get on with it, you know? And do you know a way out of here? Well, as much as I'd love to get out of here, the harvest's always more fruitful in another man's field, isn't it? But mm -hmm. Scintilla, Sentius' daughter, went missing a few weeks back. Yeah. Could be she found a way out. Oh, If anyone true. knows for sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia. But she'd never tell the likes of me. Mm, okay, well, I have talked to All her right. a tiny bit. See you around. Okay, well, let's not dilly dally. We need to get to Lucretia and give her the medicine. And if we save. Please tell me we're on time. What are you doing in here? Don't you see this woman is dying? I have your She's meds. been poisoned. I have your meds. She needs the resin of a plant called Silphium, but that Kulas Kumbolates Decius won't give it to me. Oh, I swiped it. <laughs> what? Quick, give it here. Yulia, Yulia, you need to swallow this. Here, let me help you. I want to, like, see the whole scene. Hopefully, in a moment, she should be able to breathe normally. That was extraordinary. How did you know she needed this exact thing? And at this exact moment? Are you some kind of oracle? I'm some kind of something. I'm a time traveler. A what? I'm sorry, I must have misheard you. <gasps> I think it's your accent. Because it sounded like you said, time traveler. But whatever kind of traveler you are, that was like the gods hearing my prayers and intervening. You With just me. saved a person's life, and you should be proud of yourself. Yay! She might we got an achievement for saving her. Have. And maybe she can tell us who poisoned her, and who she meant when she was muttering about that snake's cruel black eyes. Yeah. In the meantime, I'm happy to help you with whatever it is you need. Please send me a cookie. I'm gonna have a cookie for dinner. Okay, what? Uh, I'm like, I want to say, what's your story? Sorry, this is loud. Um, and I feel like she's going to be like, there was this fire. And uh, I've heard that story before. So, um, what do you think about the golden rule, huh? A city without sin might sound good on paper, but whoever dreamt it up didn't think it through. Maybe it was an attempt to create some kind of utopia. But snakes like Decius will always find loopholes to exploit. And what can we do about it? Absolutely nothing. In some ways, we are worse off because we can't take the law into our own hands. 
Mm-hmm. Hmm. This is the first this has popped up. I keep hearing the statues whispering. Is that normal? Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean to worry you, but no, that is definitely not normal. There okay. was one other person who claimed she oh, could yeah, hear yeah. the statues talking to her. But that was Nivia, and uh, she went a little She's locked mad. up. We gotta find a way in to see her. Anything about what? Aww. I like her. Sure. What do you want to know? Um. Mmm. Do you really want to know? I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have broken the golden rule, and so maybe it's best we don't discuss it. Okay. Gladly. I wish some people here need proper medical care, not the half-baked, hanging-by-a-thread excuse for treatment I'm giving them. Just don't get sick or injured here. I'll do my best to treat you, but I'm out of my depth and dangerously short on everything you can imagine. Okay, I actually am kind of curious what her story is. I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Nevia's clinic. Oh. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. <laughs> that sounds like me. Uh, tell me more about her. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. Oh. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good, too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. Mm. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues, like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem, a real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed, and he's in constant pain. Hmm. I really shouldn't see. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. Ooh, maybe he's, he's the guy that growled so at us. That the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up Ooh. losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him. Assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Okay. Thanks, I suppose. Oh. Oh, optional. See, I thought I was doing reach her in the palace, not the cure for rheumatoid arthritis. That's a shame. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. Aww. Apollo smiles upon you. She's cool. I like her. Hey, girl, you good? Oh, it's you. Sorry. I'm still a bit out of it, uh, but thanks for trying to help me, I suppose. Was there something you wanted? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. Why'd you get up? What happened? As much as I'm grateful that you tried to help me. Oh, I didn't try to help you, I did help you. About it. Please, no more questions. Okay. The golden rule. <laughs> That's the least of my worries. The gods may be cruel, but Maliolus and Claudia are far crueler. Yes. Okay. Is that who poisoned you? Please, just leave me. I alone. mean, we found that note. I don't want to. I think talk it was. It. I think it was her. Thank you. Um, how do you get out of here? I tried to escape. But look where it got me. 
What happened? I can tell you, but it's a long oh. story. Is there a short version? Look, if you don't have time to listen to me, don't let me keep you. Mm. I'm listening. All right. I'd been here. I know. About a we week. absolutely saved her. And it dawned on me I'd be trapped here for the rest of my life. I could hardly breathe, and I knew I had to get out somehow. So when my new friend Aurelia offered me a secret way out, I would have done anything. And then I learned her asking price. A thousand denarii. She was supposed to be my friend. I told her it would take me years to save up that much. So she suggested I take out a loan from Maliolus. Mm. And I did. Um. Now, why did he lend you the money? I had to sign an agreement saying I'd work off the debt over 30 years. But I figured I'd be out of here so soon it wouldn't matter. I paid Aurelia. And she gave me her so-called way out. Do you want to know what it was? Mm -hmm. Hemlock. Oh. Damn. Drink this, she said. And you'll be out of here in no time. Of course, I demanded my money back, but she refused. She pointed to a sign on her tavern saying, let the buyer beware. So we did hear about this Aurelia woman with those cruel from someone else. I don't remember who. She, she laughed. She immediately told Maliolus I'd tried to escape without <gasps> paying him What back. a jerk! Only he didn't seem upset or surprised at when? all. In fact, Quinn. He just thanked her. And that's when I realized the two of them had planned the Quinn. whole thing from the beginning. She has the whole front of her body in the sink. Okay, she's moving on. Yeah, she's a shitty friend. Um, okay. Oh, they planned it together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what I said to the magistrate. I went to Sentius and begged for help. But he said the law was clear. I'd signed over my labor for 30 years and there was nothing he could do. I thought about wow. resisting too. But Maliola said if I didn't submit, I'd break the golden rule. And I couldn't be responsible for all those deaths. So he locked me in his villa. Confiscated everything I <gasps> owned as collateral and made me wear immodest, humiliating outfits while I worked. Everyone here in, sucks except the woman out. in the His wife Claudia green dress. Sad. She sent me to work on an endless and Lucretia. Futile, demeaning tasks. I'd be on my hands and knees, scrubbing the floor clean for hours, only for her to pour slop on it and hiss. You missed a spot. Wow. Those two took everything from me. <sighs> but they forgot to confiscate one thing. The hemlock? My hemlock. I see. I just wanted it to be over. But it seems I messed that up too. Hi. Should have drunk all of it. I'm sorry. I brought it on myself. I trusted one of the most callous human beings I've ever met, and tried to swindle the other. Don't sit on my keyboard, please. I don't know how I could have been so stupid. <laughs> she has a tendency to sit on my space bar, and I just don't want to, her to, like, accept anything without me knowing what's going on. Hi, Gwen. Um, okay. What will happen to you now? When I've recovered, I expect their thug Domitius will come for Hi. me. He'll escort me back to their villa, and I'll be right back where I started. Mm. Only this time, I won't be able to lull myself to sleep at night with the thought of a permanent solution. Honestly, it would have been better if the poison had been allowed I'm to sorry. run its course. 
can I do anything? It seems this yeah. is the fate the gods have chosen for me. For trying to escape. At least until someone breaks the golden rule. Huh. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. He's being so cuddly. Okay. Um, how much would it cost to buy your freedom? You're not thinking of breaking it, are you? No, huh? of course huh? not. Huh? I would never. But I can dream. Yeah, I don't think she'd do it. A lot. But it doesn't matter. No! I... I made a suicide pact with Ulpius last night. He's in exactly the same position as I am. Maliolus and Aurelia set the same trap for him a month after they did it to me. He and I are in this together. He's probably already thrown himself from the floor oh, into shit. Maliolus's villa by okay. now. If so, I'd never be able to live with myself, knowing I broke my promise to him. Uh, maybe I can help him? I doubt you could make it up to the bluff in time. I don't know who you are or why you seem so determined to help me, but... Throw it down on the ground. Thank okay. you. Winch. I just want your cuddle. Oh. <laughs> this is the power of Gwen's butt. Um... I kind of do want to get to him and see uh, that he isn't doing uh, the thing. <gasps> He's standing there. When can you talk? To him? Can you talk him down? Can you sing to him? I wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. I did not realize, like, how sad that song was. Um, it was just top 40 hit on the radio, you know? <laughs> I don't want to talk friend. to you again, Octavia. Oh, I love Octavia. you, but no. Welcome to life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? Um, I actually need to talk to All Obvious. Right. Well, it was lovely to meet you. <gasps> She's so nice. I getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. It's not. Oh no. No. No, 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 no. Wolf Pierce, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Ulpius. Please. Please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Ulpius. Help him. Okay. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. Yes. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. I would love to, actually. <laughs> Please, okay, yeah, we gotta do something else this time. You know about that? How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. You'd never believe me if I told you. I don't remember who Scintilla is. I'll be completely honest. Well, if you say so, you don't understand. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want it all to be over. I will help you. It's too late for that. Yulia and I made a pact. Oh, that's right. Right. The the right. The magistrate's daughter. Thank morning. you. If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. I can't do that. <gasps> She's alive. I've already saved Yulia's life, and I'd like to help you too. Or Lucretia was able to get some sylphium. Um, and time to save her life. She's going to be fine. Do we take the credit? Oh, really? That changes things a little. We do. But we're still in debt bondage to that monster. Unless you happen to have 2,000 denarii to pay off both of our debts. I've collected some money. 
Uh, give me time. No. No. No shit. Time's up. Please don't I do this. Not. Please don't. Wherever Please you are. don't. Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Please don't. Opius, no. no. Octavia, you could have tried a little bit harder. I didn't mean for that to happen. I can't believe he went through with it. I, oh Lord. Just remember, he sw he fell into the swimming oh, pool. He's just swimming downstairs. He's swimming downstairs. Oh, uh, was that my fault? That was not your fault. There's no way you could have given him what he wanted moments after you arrived. In your love. Well, I suppose it means suicide isn't a sin under the Golden Wall. So I guess that means whichever god is responsible for it, it isn't mine. Love you, Beanie. I named my character after you. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I didn't mean for that to happen. So, as we come around, we need to figure out how to do that. So, where do we want to go now? We have so many people we could tell them about. What's down here? Wait. Oh, those are roots. I was like, what's on the wall? Don't mind me. Just running around. <laughs> uh, we've been here already. And the... Uh, uh, I wonder if there's still stuff in this. Interesting. So how much money do I have? I've already almost freed one of them. So this is her little thing saying that she's locked in here. noises are <laughs> yeah the banging is strange okay so we don't quite know how to get in here yet um my assumption is it has to do something with something with the bow well let's go talk to that dude oh is he the growly man it is she will guide you her Producing. Jesus Christ. When? Two seconds. Why are you knocking down? Knocked a ramen packet into the sink. Uh, where could the water be coming from? Yes. Great question. What's this way? We haven't gone this way yet. house oh oh I saw your head move he's on the pooper um always remember they're watching yes I've seen that communal public to toilets these holes must be designed for use with the sponge on a stick oh this is just a turlet just a turlet <laughs> it really the year seven really did work right she heard it loud and clear. Theophilus had an orgy with four girls here and disappointed all of them equally. I mean, he brought them to the toilets. Weirdo. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, we're back here. Hey, dude, you want to make me make a bow? Make sure you stay away from that empty shrine. It's going to collapse at any moment. What? Can you make me something, please? Ah, a new face. Oh, Salve. 
and welcome to a little looks community. like Ken. My like Barbie and Ken? To pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. I hear we have you to thank for saving Julia's life. I'm glad you arrived when you did. Welcome. You wouldn't believe how often the new ones ask that question. But I tell you the same thing I tell everyone else. There are much worse places to live out your days. You might have a few sleepless nights thinking about the golden rule. But once you get used to the fear, knowing that a single slip-up could cost you everything... Once you get bad. used to the fear Nothing that you could me, kill anyway. everyone, that's fine. Oh, I just mean I grew up in the Batavi tribe, far to the north in Novio Magus. And learn to expect a bit of hostility. They weren't nearly as tolerant as the Romans. Hmm. What do you think about the Golden Rule? Some people say it's divine. The work of a god. But I'm not so sure. It just seems so... flawed to me. Like it's distinctly human. I mean, once you've been here long enough, you'll notice people doing things that just seem so wrong to you. But this so-called God doesn't yeah, seem to care. A few things have happened. Two things. Either you don't know the difference between right and wrong, or this unknown God doesn't. And I'm pretty sure I know the difference. Do you? Whoa, I think I do. Good. Good. Then I hope you'll agree that there are only two ways of dealing with unfair rulers. The first is to leave. The second is to remove the ruler from power. Whoa. And it seems leaving may not be an option. Virgil, you are putting, you are trusting. You're very trusting of me. And I'm not going to give you up. But you shifty eyes. Um, Good you question. God from power. It's best if I say no more, but I hope you give it some thought. Okay, I noticed the graffiti. What does it mean? Oh. It means someone thinks I'm a sinner and that I'm going to break the golden rule. I need a different arm to hold my mic because this one is not weighted on the bottom and so it just falls over all the time. It's fun. Um, I mean, someone thinks you're a sinner, you're going to break the golden rule. Why? Look, I haven't done anything wrong if that's what you're thinking. Somebody just has a problem with my. <gasps> preference for male company. I was told that wasn't an issue here. And when you grow up in the north as I did in the city of Novio Magus, you expect a bit of hostility. We don't but accept Tavi are not known for their tolerance. Here. I saw enough friends killed or driven away to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. So I hid who I was for, what was it, nearly 10 years? Watching what I said and where I looked. But that kind of fear eats away at you slowly, until living isn't any better than the thing you were afraid of. Mm, Needless to say, since I'm now living underground, halfway across the known world, with an assumed name, my openness didn't go down well among the enlightened folk of the Batavi. What? In any case, the Romans are far more accepting, and among them, I get to be who oh, I am. Okay, okay. Or at least, I thought that was the case. It seems I was wrong. Who? Mm -hmm. Do you know who's writing the graffiti? Uh, it's not just graffiti. I have quite a collection of handwritten notes too. That's the assault. The thing is, I keep my personal affairs to myself. I've never really been interested in any of the men here. Not my type. So I'm not sure what I could have done to upset this person. If I Weird. had to guess, I'd say it's probably one of those cultists. Cultists. Strange bunch. They insist there's only one God, and that oh, He considers my Christians. nature a sin. Can you believe that? If there are any of them here, they won't admit it. Not since they supposedly burned down half of Rome last year and went into hiding. All I know is, if these threats keep escalating, eventually my secret admirer is going to cross a line and break the golden rule. What? Really? I... I'm gonna help you, Virgil. You're a nice guy. But thanks. It's always a pleasure to meet someone so selfless. 
You're gonna give I'm me a bow. You arrived and you did. <laughs> Isn't mom that selfless? I'm figuring out who the cultists are. I do it anyway. Or maybe ask around among the merchants here. Someone who lives or works in the forum must have seen something. But I'll if get you find it. them, please don't hurt or humiliate them. I suspect they're just confused. I'm not gonna make that my lead thing. Well, Maliolis is talking about loosening some of the restrictions in this place. And while it's all a bit vague, at least he has a vision. Uh, anything I can do to change that? My vote isn't for sale, if that's what you're asking. I don't actually care who you're wanting to vote for. I feel like, is he from France? Or where is he from? Ugh, I don't want the long version, though. Well, I'm an architect. Or at least I was back in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. Help out with repairs and try to stop old buildings from collapsing on people. That kind of thing. But you probably don't thing. want to hear about the ingenious architecture or mysterious history of this place. <laughs> he says with a little smile on his face like, mm hmm. Oh, I keep hitting my goddamn mic. Um. Oh. <laughs> I kind of want to get moving, but I don't want to be mean to him. I'll ask one question. You mean the Great Temple? This one's a bit of a mystery. Given the way it's positioned so prominently, looking down on us, it's clear that whoever built it felt it was the most important temple in the city. Unfortunately, someone else went out of their way to keep its purpose a mystery. You see, usually a temple is dedicated to a particular god, like Proserpina, or Diana, or Apollo. Usually, that god is obvious. But in this case, it's unknown. There's an obelisk out the front, which probably used to bear the name of this unknown god. But it appears some barbarian mm. defaced it. And of course we can't get inside because it's locked up tighter than the Temple of Saturn in Rome. And that contains the treasury. So we're all left wondering, which god is that temple dedicated to? And could it be the one responsible for the golden rule? Unless somebody figures out a way inside, I suppose we'll never know. Okay. Of course. <laughs> I'm nice leaving. You. You're nice. Oh, here's one of the notes. Virgil, do you really want to be responsible for this sin that destroys us all? So rude. Um, okay. I just want to find a bow. Do you got a bow? Can I have a bow? Wait, how do I... Oh. Virgil, they may not see you yet. But I want, to, want you to know I see you. Oh. Creepy. I'm sorry, Virgil. You don't deserve any Make of this. Make sure you stay away from that empty shrine. It's going to collapse at any moment. <laughs> what do you mean by empty shrine? I didn't really look How around this doing? area earlier. How are you doing today? I'm sad. Am I going to die? I don't think so, my friend. Oh. It's election day today. Perhaps Hilarious. our new magistrate will be kinder than Sentius and let you out. I hope so. Galerius, what oh. happens when you die? You're not going to die anytime soon, Dooley. My mother told Dooley. me when you die, a ferryman helps you cross a river and your spirit lives on in the underworld. Is that true? Well, yes, but... Is it true that if you were good, you get to go to Elysium, but if you were bad, you get punished forever and ever in... Tartarus. Something like that, but... What if I die and go oh, to Tartarus? Okay. Because they You're gonna keep having... Oh, what's this? I'm not going to let that I did not do it. it. Signed, I Dooley. Promise. Thank you. Aww. Thank you. See, this... Now, I have more work to do. Hilarious is a good guy. Soon. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, hey! We've been up here. Okay. Hi! Who are you? Oh, I 
Oh, maybe I could talk to them. Okay, let's zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh. Help! You have to do something. A man arrived in the baths. A real nasty sort, with his face all covered up. And he's got a weapon. A weapon? You have to do something, or he's going to break the golden rule. Oh, I don't None have a weapon. do. The magistrate made us throw them all into the chasm. So now this man's bow is the only one in the city. You just have to improvise. Okay. Thank you. He's still in there somewhere. She <sighs> have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. <gasps> Don't go in the empty shrine. Do not go in there. What? Why? Just trust me. Uh, all right. Um. Fine. Come and find me in my bakery instead. Hold well, on. Be careful. Who are you? But now's not the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, she was right there. I was like, where was she? Okay, that's the empty shrine. Don't go in there. Where was she talking about? The many shall suffer for the sense of the one. Okay, yes. In here? This does not look like a man with a bow. Man with a bow. Come to take your bow. They're turning their heads. Shit. Stop right there. I'm looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus. Crispus? Otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know yes. where he is? Uh. Oh. Thank you for your service to the Empire. I, I need to read the options out loud. I'm so sorry. Sure our paths <gasps> don't cross again. He's going to go into the empty shrine. And it's going to collapse on him and I'm going to take his bow. Go. Second building on your left. <laughs> oh, upstairs. He's in there, I promise you. have a bow and arrow now. Ooh, a bounty notice. Uh, by order of Emperor Nero, all, son, all loyal sons of Rome are ordered to hunt and execute the arsonist and murderous Tiberius Quintius Crispus, a citizen from the Aventine district of Rome. He is about 40 to 50 years old. He is average height, average build, has dark hair, has dark hair, and has one green eye and one blue eye. That's the guy that's running for the thing against the guy with the S, the one with the M. <laughs> Mel blah, 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 blah. Um, he is typically clean shaven. Yes, he's an associate of cultists and suffers from delusions of grandeur. Yes, Hedgy, thank you. <laughs> you just, you know everybody's name so much better than I, and I appreciate that very, very much. Um, uh, Malayalis, um, Maliolis, or however. Yeah, we didn't kill him directly. We just sent him to an unsafe place, and he believed us. Don't trust people. Don't trust people. That's the that's the thing right there. I'm gonna take this. One. Okay, what? I feel like this is the only thing I can do. Oh yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Sarah. Yes, we need to go find the bakery lady. Where's the bakery. You think it's along here somewhere? 
Oh, I don't want to talk there. to you. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I couldn't help but notice that fine bow you're carrying. That's gonna no be a no go. You managed to get your hands on it, especially in the light of our dear old magistrate's ban. Please stop talking I'm to impressed. me. And before you ask, no, I wouldn't dream of trying to buy it from you. Mm -hmm. I have no use for a wooden bow myself. Sure. But I would like to propose a joint business venture of sorts. I'm not interested. You're not interested in amassing riches beyond imagining. Are you sure? <sighs> Tell me, do you have any idea how people here end up as golden statues? Uh, the statues come to life and fire. Golden bow arrows at them. And here I was thinking I was the only one to figure it out. Oh, In he already case, knew. Supposedly, one or two of those arrows is enough to turn a full-grown man into gold. Oh. Now, of course, that is a travesty, a terrible, horrible waste of human life, which has to be stopped. And yet, <laughs> on the other hand, I can't help but think of a tale told by that Greek fella Aesop, the goose that laid the golden egg. With the ability to transmute organic matter into gold, one could create infinite wealth. Use your imagination. Golden animals, insects, trees, and plants. The Midas touch without the drawbacks. We are talking I'm riches fine. beyond imagination. I'm not interested even in this. If we were to split all those riches between the two of us, half of infinite wealth is still infinite. Who's buying it? Look, I might have skimmed over that one, but don't be so pedantic. Are you interested or not? No. That sounds grossly unethical. Oh, I'm not suggesting we use such a bow on people. There's no profit in breaking the golden rule. <sighs> Excellent. So the first question is, how do we get our hands on one of those golden bows? Now, I have a plan. But first, tell me, are you familiar with the story of the goddess Diana? No problem. Allow me I to don't explain. think I remember. Diana is our goddess of the hunt, the moon, and the underworld, depending on who you ask. The one thing priests and poets agree on is that she carried with her a golden bow and a quiver of golden arrows. And it just so happens that there is a shrine of Diana in this very forum with a prominent statue of the goddess herself. Okay. And would you like to guess what she's holding? Oh, I think I know where this is at. I know, I don't know where he thinks the money's coming from. Precisely. I can't tell you how many hours I've spent in that temple staring at it, trying to figure out how to retrieve it without breaking, you know what? Um, uh, you want me to oh, steal God, it? No. If you tried that, we'd all be dead within moments, I'm oh, sure. Yeah. No, here's what I propose. You give your bow to me, I cover it in a thin layer of gold leaf, and we create a replica of our golden bow. Then you enter the shrine, extinguish the braziers, and under cover of darkness, swap out the fake for the original. It's not theft exactly, it's more of a, a trade. But make no mistake, this is a dangerous path, and there's no way of knowing where it will lead. But in my experience, all the best adventures begin with a risky first step. Now, you must have questions. Ask away. Um, I don't have any questions no, right now. I really don't. <laughs> oh, okay. So, all right, I'll do it. Gives you the option. If you don't like action or horror elements, feel free to decline. I'll do it, but don't ever call me partner. Or I'm going to pass. I do like horror elements. But don't call me a partner, Wonderful. I don't like you. Now, if you'll hand over your bow, I can get started applying a layer of gold leaf. This is a quality weapon. Now, bear with me for a moment. Can I go talk to the bread lady, please? And here we are. A gold leaf bow. <laughs> hey. Now, I've gone and unlocked the shrine of Diana for you. So as oh. quick as you can, head on inside. It's just at the end of the street on the left. May the gods not watch over you. I'm gonna talk to her first. You, you took care of him? Hell yeah, I did. He had a tragic accident in that shrine. An accident? So, it's over? Oh God. It's such a relief. I really thought we were all going to die. I I do have a question, though. That shrine, the one I was going to hide in, did you... 
No, it was going to collapse. Mm, maybe. If I said yes, I'd be admitting to murder. I don't understand. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. oh, Can you not golden roll me, then. please? Sorry. <laughs> I promise nobody else will ever know what you did. But I know. That was really clever. Thank you. I'm glad you're, you're here. Oh, speaking of which, welcome. She's so I'm nice. Fabia. Sorry, I was a bit frantic before. Need anything? Oh, do you know a way out of here? What? You've been here a few moments and you're desperate to get out already? Why not give the place a chance before you try to leave? Mm, mm, mm. Good people here. Galerius works hard on the farm so I can put food on our tables. And Lucretia tries to keep us healthy. My friend Georgius is always mending our clothes. And Virgil makes sure these old walls don't fall down around us. Where you got beef you? with him? He does his best. I'm just saying, there are worse places you I can think live she out has your beef days. With Virgil. Uh, I don't belong here. Well, I can tell from your funny accent you're not from around here, but that doesn't mean you don't belong, does it? What do you think about the golden rule, huh? Oh, I try not to worry about it. I mean, if people are nice to each other, we won't have anything to worry about, oh. will we? She is very optimistic. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks. And I like your teeth. <gasps> my teeth! Like white. And your clothes. <laughs> oh, I bet my friend Georgius would like to get a look at you. Mm. And I'm sure he'd love to chatter about the golden rule with you, too. Oh, really? He'll be just across the forum in his shop. Okay. Do you know who's threatening Virgil? Mm, terrible shame, that is. Maybe this will help. Late last night, I was cleaning my oven when I heard some noises outside. Oh. The forum's usually dead quiet at that hour, so I came out to see what was going on. Who did you to see? Be honest, I thought maybe poor old Dooley had got out of his cell and was snooping around again. So I put my head out and saw someone in front of Virgil's shop. I couldn't tell who. It was too dark. I called out to them, but they just turned and ran off without a word. All mm. I remember is they ran past a lit torch and the light glinted off something metallic. Armour, I think. Oh. So I suppose it could only be one of three people. Horatius, Domitius or Rufius. I hope that helps. So those two guys that were in the like little area right before you go up to the magistrate's house? That does help. Thank you. I'm going to go. Right. Thanks again for taking care of our problem. I won't forget it. Okay, you're cool. Uh, let's go to... Wait, is it through here? Oh. Oh, no. That's gonna kill me. Uh, you're a prospector hey friend welcome in this game is very interesting we're in a little time loop situation um this is not gonna go well a robot man on his knees as if uttering a desperate prayer clearly it fell on deaf ears there large stone statue of diana the ancient roman goddess of the hunt the moon and the other well, I've taken her quiver. What if that's the only thing keeping the bees away? Swap out. Uh... Can I use one of these chairs? How do I do it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Is that you, partner? Do you have the bow? Please don't lock me in here with the bees. Wonderful. Just go ahead and slide it under the door for me. No. I'll lock it for you. No. 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 You locked me in here? You're a bit slow, aren't you? Yes, I locked you in. <sighs> and until you give me my bow, you're going to stay in there like Tantalus in Tartarus. How is this not against the golden rule? You said you'd split the riches between the two of us. <laughs> no, technically, I never said that. I said, if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, infinite wealth is still infinite. 
This guy sucks ass. Fault if you can't tell the difference between a hypothetical and a promise now, is it? Oh, I do love a good loophole. How can I trust you after you've double crossed me like this? Or let me out right now, or when I free myself, I'm going to kill you. Last Not one. Not a very effective threat, is it? See, your first problem is you're in there, and I'm out here. Your second problem is the golden rule. What are you gonna do? Kill us all? It's an empty threat. The bow, now. And don't even think about giving me the fake one. I'll recognize my own handiwork. There's no way I'm giving you this ball. Find another way out, or even if I gave it to you, you'd probably just leave me in here. Forget it. I'm gonna find another way out. I would reconsider my position quickly. Loophole, Larry. Yeah, sure we're not gonna trust him. But you're stuck in there with a hornet's nest, and they can be rather Don't impressive. Don't remind me. Killers. You know, some say it takes 27 hornet stings to kill a man, but I always wondered oh, how anyone no. could have done that. Let's I haven't died yet. Out how many it takes to kill a woman, shall we? Am I supposed to kill all of them with a bow? Shit. How do I get out of here? The nest. I'm scared. Oh. oh, I gotta get out. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Ah! Oh shit, they did not follow me. That's amazing. Okay. I didn't even think about that. I guess I'm glad this person's whispering to me. Deep down. Whoa. Nice. How much do we have now? How much money? Okay, just a little over. Um, okay, we need to find a way to return to the city. Move my entire body for that. Um, she's moving her head. I heard it. Something up there. Oh. Huh. Okay. here bones okay oh shit shit i think i'm stuck oh okay oh god i did not want to be stuck <gasps> navia's journal volume one my beloved galatea i write this so that one day when we're finally together you will understand what i've done and why I had to do it. The others will call me mad or a monster, but I don't care what they think. Everything I'm doing here, I'm doing for you. I'll start at the beginning. Oh. Soon after my arrival here, as I walked down a corridor lined with golden statues, I thought I heard a whisper behind me. Yeah, that's right. She's the only other one who's heard the whispers. As if vocal cords of metal strained to say a word or two. 
I tried to dismiss the idea, tried to concentrate on my work as the city's medic, but that tortured whisper haunted me. Weeks later, in the hallway to the bathhouse, oh. I heard it again and found myself drawn to the statue of a Roman woman wearing a stola. Her face was contorted with anguish and fear, and disturbingly, it was as if she was looking right at me. As I walked past her, I heard that strained whisper again, and turning back, I discovered that even though I had moved, she was still looking right into my soul. Mm -hmm. That was when it dawned on me. This was no statue. This was a woman trapped within that golden prison. Naturally, I told the others, but when I could not reproduce the results of my experiment, they would not believe me. But from that moment on, I knew the full horror of this place. Immobilized within these statues are living human beings. Mm -hmm. It was that day, my love, that my heart broke. Okay, so she discovered what was going on as well. Oh! Oh! Can I put you away for a second? No, can I put you away? Oh, there we go. My flashlight! Oh, I have to follow the ropes. There we go. Interesting. <gasps> she looked at me. <laughs> Ooh, I made it. Where am I? Oh. Oh, I just came from there. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to jump all the way across. Oh, hey, more bows. I have so many bows. Oh, I get it now. I can shoot. Okay. I came across one of these earlier and I tried to walk on it and I fell. <laughs> and now I understand. Now I understand. Yay. Uh... I'm sorry you got turned to gold. Okay. Oh, God. My, uh, my little headphone wire rubbed on my wrist and it scared me. Okay, where are we? Oh, it's loading, so. <laughs> I can't go through there. <gasps> We're in the palace! Hell yeah! Oh god, that scared me! Lots of arrows. Okay. I hope that's not her. Yeah, they're all turning to look at me. <gasps> oh, E, E. Faster. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
I think I'm supposed to just run away from her. Oh! 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 oh there's so many! There's so many! The algae! The algae! The algae! The algae! Oh no! I'm dying! I'm dying! Oh. oh shit, don't kill me! Please don't kill me! Oh! Okay. Ah, shit. Ah! I'm greedy. Okay, go. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Oh! <laughs> oh, shit. Meh. Okay, so where's my last save? Oh, I can shoot them. Okay. That's what I was kind of thinking I couldn't. Are they the ones crying out? Thank you. Okay, well, I love that I've been put in a spot where no one's coming after me. Okay. Cool. Your kicks will never kill them. Okay, I was kind of feeling like that may be. Yeah, I know down there, but now I want to look around. I know where you want me to go. I'm aware. Okay, I just kind of wanted to take a peek. Is this where I came from? I don't know. Let's just go. <laughs> Let's just go. I'm going. Oh, wait. <gasps> shit, 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 kick, 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 kick. Oh, god damn it. Okay. So. Okay, I got this. There we go. Okay. Shame your friend is blocking you, huh? Oh, oh, I, c I can probably just jump and grab it. Wait, let me. And I can just shoot him from here. Interesting. Shit. <laughs> Them. Did I get him? 
I got him. Do I shoot this? Parkour, parkour. Paper treats. Uh, order it. Oh, there we go. I got it. What'd you get? I'm excited. I have some stuff from Target coming tomorrow. And then I think I'm actually gonna buy myself a little present um, tonight as well, because it's been very stressful. I'm. Oh shit! That went right through his head. find out. Oh no. Oh! We're gonna be hopping around. Oh! I probably could just go straight through here, but... arrows which not that I want to like go through them really fast or anything but I feel like I'm pretty good with um, item management in games to toot my own little horn oh tee oh I got you dude you. Ah, stop moving and I'll help you. Okay. I'm like, yeah, I'll help you. Already out here. <gasps> okay, she said thank you. Oh, there's another one. Come here. What? I wonder what their deal is. Was I not supposed to <gasps> shoot it? Got him. I don't know if I was supposed to shoot that. I'm not gonna kick him. Oh. Hi. Just looking for friends. They're all looking at me. All that sound is. <gasps> what? 
Looks like this custom-made rack has been used to hold down golden statues and peel the golden layer from them. What the fuck? Oh, key to the palace doors. Got it. <gasps> Nivea's journal, volume two. My beloved Galatea, after I learned the terrible truth about the golden statues, I wandered the city as if in a nightmare. What must life be like for these poor souls, entombed in gold, but kept alive somehow? Trapped in their own personal Tartarus, consigned to eternal torment, too horrific for any sane mind to comprehend. I tried to offer them what small mercies I could. I began to talk to them, to keep them company. I'd imagine backstories for them, give them names, and tell them of the world, of the histories and stories I'd learned as a child. As the others became more concerned by my charity, I sought solitude from them, mm. preferring the company of my tormented charges. Discovering a way into the abandoned palace, I began to spend my days walking its halls and sharing with its occupants ancient tales, my mind turning to those of Apollo and Daphne, Perseus and Medusa, and Pygmalion and Galatea. Pygmalion, the sculptor who fell in love with a beautiful statue, and who, praying to Aphrodite for aid, discovered that his beloved Galatea had come to life. It was then that I heard you whisper to me, Galatea. Oh. Forgive me. I know that is not your real name, just one I have borrowed from a story, but when I turned to look at you, I saw the most exquisitely beautiful woman I have ever known. Your face forever frozen in a look of haunting sadness. Our meeting gave me new purpose to free you from your golden prison so that I might one day hear you speak, not just whisper your true name to me. So I gathered tools for the long and difficult task ahead, barred the doors to this place, mm. and set to work. Interesting. Darcilcho, hello. Thank you so much for continuing your sub. Happy 14 months. Thank you so much. Welcome in. How's it going? Okay. That's... Uh, uh, gross. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't know that we get upstairs from this. Oh. Do you think I can go up this? To do this? Well, let's see. Does this door even open? It does. So maybe we're actually just supposed to go upstairs. Shit. Ugh, I just fall off. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to get through that because that's a lighter <laughs> color. So yeah, I don't know if it's Nivea who's peeling them. I guess I would assume so. But ay ay ay. Palace balcony. Okay, so now it's... Uh, Jesus. Shh. I got this, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, so it's like anywhere with the little butterflies. Ha <laughs> ha 
Shoot them. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I have to go this way. Okay, cool. That was a good old jump scare. We're here. Ding dong. It's pointing down there. Where have already been down there? Is this whole thing gold? It doesn't look like it. Oh, it must be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be good. sure what I've done because I don't think I can climb this. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, I made it. I made it. I don't know how I did that, but I've made it. I don't know if I was supposed to shoot those, but it's fine. Honey. I still have 87 arrows. Okay. Peel. Oh, these are the peeled statues. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes way more sense. Got me through the damn curtain. Big shot. Is that everyone? if I'm supposed to be hitting those but earlier they told me to so I'm going to assume I do although there's one that I did not I just knocked it down they get stuck on things easily which is nice Oh, um, I 
vibrated. That was frightening. shouldn't have done that yet. I should have waited until they were over it. It's fine. Her third note? Yes, her third journal. My beloved Galatea, my attempts at freeing these souls from their golden prisons have not been going to plan. My first charge mm. was a Greek woman who I called Iodami after the Athenian turned to stone by Medusa. Drilling through the gold that encased her, I was vindicated by the discovery that beneath half an inch of gold, which is so rigid, it must be some kind of alloy, was living flesh. No. Unfortunately, Oops. this golden alloy seems to have fused with her skin, so removing it exposed the sinew and muscle beneath and appeared to cause her great pain. Yeah, you think? At first, I braced myself, expecting that inflicting such pain would break the golden rule, and yet, somehow, it did not. It seems whichever god is responsible for imprisoning these poor souls does not care about their suffering at all. They are forsaken. Ugh. Undeterred, I pressed on, working late. Okay, into the she's night, attempting to evil. remove the golden layer that encased her as delicately as I could. Eventually, I was able to free most of her body, but when I released her from her restraints, her first act was to lunge for my throat, clawing at me with all her strength and those sharp metal talons. This was my thanks for trying to save her. Whatever possessed Iodami to attack, she was clearly not a suitable subject for my experiment, and I was forced to lock her inside an isolated wing of the palace and bar the door. As I continued working on others, I could hear her flailing and launching herself at the other side endlessly. Regrettably, my other experiments bore similar results, and after relocating a few times, most of the palace is now too dangerous to work in. Still, as much as my heart aches to know that you're suffering, I cannot risk attempting to ungild you yet. Not until I have perfected a method that will bring you back to me, whole in both mind oh. and body, and ensuring your humanity is preserved. I promise you this. One day this lady. we will be together, even if I have to free every last statue in this god's forsaken place. Bad news. Bad news indeed. I know, I know, Sarah, that's what I was thinking too, when she's like, everyone I did this to, they did the same thing. Better keep doing it. Like, what, ma'am? No. You do the same thing and expect different results? Oh, hey. Yeah, this is a really big palace. <gasps> <gasps> Oh, come on. That scared me. I cannot say I was expecting that. Money.
Thank you. Mm. Shooting that, even though I don't think I'm <laughs> need to. Are more gonna come in here? Yes, that is what they want me to do. Oh, shit on your face! If I was better at this, I would have done the algae thing, but I'm not, so I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sarah. I know it did it did give me the option to not do this and I said ah <laughs> I said ah Ooh oh no Oh no Oh no Well listen I, too, have been hearing the voices. I am not going to do this to any of these people. Oh, we're finally here. Girl, where you at? Oh, no. You can talk? Who are you? Ah, oh, shit. Oh! You must be Nevia. You must be the wretched snake who broke into my palace and Oh, I can ask her about the rheumatism. And worst of all, look at what you made me do to her. This never would have happened if you just stayed away. You're going to pay for that. Oh, fuck me. Um, if you attack me, we'll both end up encased in gold. This has nothing to do with me. The I first one? I think I care about that. I Shit. don't care what happens to me, as long as you get what you deserve. This has nothing to do with me. Liar. I locked and barred the gate. I left a message warning you all to leave me alone. I just wanted to do my experiments in peace for her. And now look at her. You made me turn the most beautiful woman I did I've nothing. ever seen into this. Look at her. She's in agony. All I wanted was to spend my last moments with her. To see her beautiful face. To hear her speak freely instead of in those cryptic whispers. But as soon as I began my work, she stopped whispering to me, and now I discover oh, she's Oh, because you're a weirdo! What's so special about you? I'm not torturing anyone. That's what's so special about me. It's not just the statue whispering to me. A lot of them do it, but it's always the same voice. I didn't hear any whispers. It sounds like you've lost your mind. That first what do one. you mean, the same voice? It's like someone else is whispering to me through the statues. Hmm. Yes. I remember when they used to whisper to me. They did sound similar. I just thought it was because all voices sound the same when they whisper. But now that I think about it, they were all benevolent and seemed to share a common knowledge. But if these bodies are mere conduits for that one voice, then this body is nobody. And everything I've done here was... Was... Yep. Wait. Yep. I see what you're doing. You're trying to steal her away from me. Were you planning to wait until I'd done all the hard work, then swoop in? Is that it? No. Liar. I'm not gonna accuse you her being crazy, because... I wanna now do that. what you made me do. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't peel you too. Uh, I ended up here by accident. All I want to do is leave. I've heard enough of this. 
Yeah, no, let's keep talking to her. What? What do you I need to get about? her opinion on rheumatoid arthritis. I got trapped in tunnels under the city and came up inside the palace. Wait. So you're saying you weren't coming for us? Uh... I never had any intention of hurting you. I wasn't planning to kill you, but when I saw what you've done... So no, I, I was literally coming to just talk I to her. her. For nothing. Yes! Oh God, I feel sick. I am... I can't bear the thought of her being like this. And in so much pain. It's the air coming into contact with her flesh. It's agonizing for them. Yes. But the yes. only way to fix it will be to break the golden rule and let it run its course. At least that way she'd be golden again and we'd be together. All it would take is one little cut. Rheumatism, not rheumatoid arthritis. I don't know if that's the same thing. Wait, I can undo all of this if you tell me the treatment for rheumatism. I'd be only too happy to imprison you on gold. You're too late. There's nothing you can do. I have to do this. I'm sorry. I can cover her in gold again. I can wind back time and make it so that I never came in here. No, the first one. What? How? I shoot her. This golden bow is the weapon that encases people in gold. Really? I'm not sure I believe you. Have you not paid attention to everything I've been doing? Mess, I'll tell you what you need to know. But if you're lying to me, I'll break the golden rule and kill you and everyone else in this. Well, I'm not lying. Understood. All right, stand back. Oh, well, now I want to talk to her. Shit. Oh, I can't. Okay. You did it. You took away. I couldn't her talk to her. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I don't know Thank what this you. lady's deal Thank is. You. I swear I will never harm her again. I swear it. I'll stay here to keep her company. But these poor souls, what can be done for them? I've tried everything well, I can. Well, I shot a lot of them I on my way in. The only one capable of releasing them properly is whichever god doomed them in the first place. In any case, I must honor our bargain. The Thank treatment you. for rheumatism is willow bark. I believe there's a pot of it already in the Shrine of Apollo. Now, of Apollo. please leave. The door here leads out onto the palace balcony. You should be able to make your way down from there. Go. And never return. Yeah, she was like hella con like hella concerned that I was coming in, that I was gonna do something to her, but she didn't notice that I was helping everyone, like with the actual F. What? Are you still here? I now leave. Oh it's loading. Reach the front of the palace. Oh, hey. Okay. Woo! We survived. Wee! Bonk. All right. <laughs> that is a very convenient zip line. Okay. Isn't the great temple majestic? Mm hmm. I know. You know. How come you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? So I feel like he and maybe. Oh wait, this is the dude. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know? Oh yeah, I haven't name? talked to him since I came back, huh? I'm Gwen. We have. Wait, if I understand correctly. Someone is about to yeah. break the golden rule, forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here? 
I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only, I assume we failed, and you had to start over. Is that about right? If so, what happened? Um... Seems rather brash. I'm the only why? one who's broken it why so far, out? which is fun. Why have you sought me out? Can we talk about who's going to break the golden rule? I was hoping to ask you some questions about my investigation. Ask sure. Them. Why can't you investigate? Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem mm. perfectly normal. I suppose. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Okay. Do you have Do any you suspects? Ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore. What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. Okay. Um. Ooh, do you think it could be related to Centella's disappearance? Ah, so you know about that already. It's a devastating loss, of course, but... That was over three weeks ago, and whatever happened to her, it didn't break the golden rule. So I don't think it's connected with our imminent demise. Still, if you happen to find her and return her to me, I would be eternally grateful. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. How do I know you're not the person responsible? Me? Why would you suspect me? I've just told you. I'm about to sacrifice my own life to ensure these people have a second You got me chance. there, sir. You got what me reason there. Could you possibly have to suspect me <laughs> of all people. Yeah, that would make sense. I suppose. I'm glad you think so. Without trust, without each other, we won't be able to prevent what is about to happen. Okay. Fair enough. Ooh, if I do this, will you help me get back to my own time? If I understand Persepina's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Okay. And let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Makes sense? Mm. Sure, why not? <laughs> Good. Now, was there something else you wanted to discuss? No. Thank you. I'll be waiting here for new. Okay, so we have... Let's see. Okay, let's go to uh, Lucretia. Lucretia's in here. Mm, a golden bow. Just like Apollo and Diana. Feeling all right? I figured out how to treat rheumatism. You made it into the palace. I'm impressed. How is Nivea? <laughs> She's alive, but she just wants to be left alone. And the treatment is Willow Bark. Willow Bark. I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. That's very helpful. Thank you. If this works, it should settle Rufius down some. Mm. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll okay. just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. Okay, cool. I have a feeling he's the guy that... Oh, yeah, he just needs to eat that, doesn't he? Uh-huh. Thank you. Uh... I'm really glad you arrived when you did. That's a shame. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. I think he's the guy Apollo that growls. Upon you. I think. Who are you? Greetings and salutations. Oh, he's the guy that makes clothes. Greetings. I'm Georgius. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. 
And I must say, my sartorial friend, your clothing is most extraordinary. Thank you. Leather boots in place of sandals, trousers with precise stitching, and such a curious design. I have traveled distant trade routes from the markets of Damascus to the farms of India. Wow. And never have I seen anyone dressed quite like you. Tell me, I must know. From which exotic part of the world do you hail? The future. My nation doesn't exist yet. I'm from beyond the edge of the known world. You'd never believe me if I told you. That one. And now you have me more intrigued than before. But since it appears you do not wish to share, I will oh. wait until we are better friends. We will have much time here to get to know one another. But for now, do you require assistance? I know you do not require clothing, so information perhaps? Oh, it's so lovely you should ask that. Do you know how to get out of here? Shh, not so loud. What are you playing at? Girl, I'm asking everyone. Have you not been told about the last attempt? The last attempt? Oh, then I suppose this duty falls to me. Ah, it is a long story. I love it when they tell me it's a long story. Why don't you tell me? Of course, the Buckle first kids. question any of us asks when we first arrive is, how do I escape? It is only natural after all. And scaling the chasm wall is out of the question, for it is simply too steep and too far. But as they say, if the wind fails, use the oars. And here the second option is to leave the way we came in, through the shaft above the bathhouse. See, the shaft is quite high, but if one gathered up enough wood, one could make a series of ladders and climb one's way out. What? Why hasn't anyone done that yet? They have. I am getting to that. Okay. There was an attempt made by resourceful fellows who lived here some years ago. They even decided to keep records of their escape attempt for posterity. Unfortunately, as soon as they began to carry the first ladder down the hallway, they heard the godlike voice shake the entire city, Ooh. and that, tragically, is where their tail ends. So it seems that to merely attempt escape is to invite the wrath of whichever god oversees this place. And so I well, say, it is best to not even discuss it aloud. Wouldn't that have killed everybody? Because isn't it like everyone is punished for the sins of one? Interesting. Okay, what do you think about the golden rule? Ah, yes. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. As a Greek, this is nothing new to me. It is how our gods operate. Uh, why do you say that? Have you not heard the tale of the god Hades? He was the first to learn this dreadful lesson when he abducted Persephone and imprisoned her in the underworld. When Demeter, the mother of Persephone, learned of this, she did not punish Hades, the guilty one. Instead, she changed the climate of Earth so that it became hot and dry. Sometimes Nothing grew. The grain turned to turn empty husks and the rivers dried up. Innocent people Someone else is talking in the background. <laughs> until at last the other gods were forced to act, lest they have no worshippers left. So yes, we know this rule. This has always been the case. The golden rule has merely brought it into focus. Uh, what can we do about it? If we are to survive, I say we must each keep the simple wisdom of Thales of Miletus, first of the seven sages of Greece, who said, Avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. That sounds simple enough. It does, doesn't it? But it is not enough for us to do this alone. For even if 99% of us adopt this principle, that will never be enough. Sadly, no matter how well we protect ourselves, the life's work of many good people can be undone in the blink of an eye by a single selfish act. I know I've seen it happen. Ah, the voice of experience. I am sorry for your loss, my friend. But on a lighter note, I will say one thing for the golden rule. For all their grim and haunting poses, these golden statues do make magnificent oh. models for my clothing. Do they not? <laughs> okay, who are you gonna vote for? That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, I'm leaning toward voting for Maleolus. I mm -hmm. do not enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. Oh, okay.
Anything I can do to change that? Nothing comes to my mind, my friend. Okay. I hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. I'm not asking many people the like, what's your story? Because it all ends the freaking same. Um. Okay, let's go find the man who growled at us. The last we saw him, he was this way. Is it me or is it getting is it getting darker? He was up here. Ah, oh, he's not here anymore. Yeah, it is getting darker, huh? Don't mind me, y'all. Just walking around with my flashlight. Mr. Man! Angry boy! Where are you? Is he still there? Um... Oh, where was that guy's house? Greetings and salutations. Oh, hey, I was like, I recognize him. So we had jumped from there. So it must be this place right here. Oh, which is why he's out front. That makes sense now. Sentius M. Oh, yeah, we read that earlier. Okay. Oh. that up out <laughs> I've already figured that up apparently is a thing okay so he's still in there oh and then that's okay damn they live right next to each other what the hell I mean, he gave me his, um, he gave me his key. Hey. Did you just scale the wall to my villa somehow? I must remember to have words no. with that buffoon Domitius. <laughs> well, uh, why have you risked life and limb to see me? Well, hmm. To your Quinctius? Mm, it's got My nothing name is to say. Marcus Maliolus Gurgis. You seem to have confused me with someone else. No. You have one green eye and one blue eye, just like the description in this execution order from Emperor Nero. You... you mean my heterochromia? I am guilty of nothing more than having different colored eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Alexander the Great had it too, as it happens. I like to think it is simply the way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I can't prove it to you yet, but I will. Apparently, Quinctius also suffers from delusions of grandeur. My mistake, never mind. Unlikely, because it simply isn't true. Now, was there something else you wanted? Um... Have I not asked him what he thinks about the Golden Rule? You mean the children's fable exploited by Sentius to scare us all into doing what he wants? Yeah, Wait, you're don't kind tell of right me on you've that. fallen no, victim to, talk to, to him about this. Lie? Oh, it's because I said that. Okay, let's As talk about wish. something else. Um, you want to drop out? I want you to withdraw. <laughs> Are you insane? You barge into my villa uninvited yes. and then make outrageous demands? Also, yes. Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? Uh, because if you don't, I'm going to kill you? Never mind. You are acting very strangely. Yeah, I am. Bye. I trust you can see yourself out. Yes. Through the door this time. There's a key just beside it. Did I not get to keep the key? Oops. Thank you. I am delighted this and This idiot is still doing this. How do I get upstairs? Magistrate. Magistrate. Yes. Yes. Thank you. 
I bet there's like damning evidence upstairs. But I can't get through any of those little windows. Oh, I can get upstairs. I think I've been upstairs, actually, now that I think about it. I'm going to go in that door in a second. And, uh, yes, uh, I thought it was the statue crying. Who are you? I'm not supposed to be in here. Oh. Claudia. <laughs> Can we talk? My bad, I'll be going now. Or I know where do you keep your valuables. Can we talk? Talk? What business could you possibly have with me? <laughs> Why are you locked in this room? My marital affairs are no concern of oh. yours. Thank you very much. Okay. Would you like some help getting back at Maliolus? Mm. An intriguing proposition. Mm -hmm. Go on. I don't think he's who he says he is. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes make you look. What makes you say that? Just a hunch. I was hoping we could figure out his true identity together. You know, I may have the very thing you're Ooh. looking for. Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he wrote me a love letter. He used the wrong name. Now, what? addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, the name he got wrong was his own. I confronted him about it, and he stammered through some incoherent response. I let it go, eventually, and yet, questions have lingered in the back of my mind ever since. Interesting. But, Wait a minute. Why exactly are you helping? Honestly, me? I don't know because I heard you were really mean. <laughs> we women have to stick together. Um, I want to force him to withdraw from the election. To withdraw? Listen, I may not be Penelope to his Ulysses, but to ruin his plans to become a magistrate? You must think me quite mad. Oh shit. I've she pissed. Enough. Get out of here at once. She pissed. Come quickly. We're being robbed. Buff. Did he even hear you? Ah. Oh, well, he's not here. So maybe it is good that I ran. Part of me is kind of thinking I shouldn't have. Okay, we still need to find Rufius. Okay, so Rufius is one of the people that we need to investigate for the whole Virgil thing. Uh, so let's see. Let's see if we can't find him. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just trying to go anywhere. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Rufius! <laughs> I didn't realize that my little target was on him. You can't see it because it's behind my head now, but um, we have a little target for him now, right up here. This game is so fun. I'm so glad that I thought it looked interesting enough because I feel like I've watched, I feel like I've seen this when I've gone through. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. I forgot about and this. And now, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. No more shall you <laughs> walk on eggshells, fearing simply to live and breathe, because the tyrant Sentius told you it was forbidden. For my first act as magistrate, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end. Oh of no! The, the myth. Is this my spot? The golden rule is no more. The golden rule is real, you idiot. Something gonna happen. In his attempt to deceive us all, Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the empire. 
What? I have committed no crimes. This is madness. His sentence to fight for his life in gladiatorial oh, no. combat against Prometheus. <laughs> and now for your entertainment. You have no idea what you're doing. Uh. You're going to get us all killed. Wait, I exercise my right as a Vestal Priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, Priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Demetrius, ignore her. Proceed. This is insanity. You do us all. Lies. It is time the Golden Rule was exposed to what it is. A children's fable exploited by a treacherous leader to instill fear in all of us. Hey, what's up? This is why he's in his gladiator gear. They've been planning this all along. Shut up, all of you. The Magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. Oh, oh, many shit! Shall shit! For the sins of the one. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, Sentius. Come on. Oh, fuck. Did you fucking run? Okay, bye. Okay. Oof. Big yikes. I hope we start at the beginning of the day. Oh, wait, we do, we do, we do, we do. We always start at the beginning of the day. Okay. Yay. This game is very fun. I'm enjoying this a lot. It's just so fun. I love the setting. I love the like mystery. It's really cool. It's really cool. But yeah, this game is on Game Pass. That's how I'm playing it. So if if you guys want to play it too, this is a really good time. I'm enjoying it so much. So thank you guys for hanging out. Toodles.